operation for, for two hours can, can, can he make it so he came with his old it was a big car it was a very big car it was an old uh, Plymouth and um, and so you know we took she was allowed to drive down in, in, in his Palanquin and you know devotees <coughs> were crying because they knew that this was probably the last time they would see her. And uh, we, we would put sheets in, in the back seat and Prabhupada was lying down. And um, I think Bhupendra was in the back with him. Maybe Ramananda. I don't even know how we fit in that car. <laughs> and and um, Tamal Krishna Goswami and I were in the front with Srinath. And we were so early. Um, it looked as if we would have two, or two and a half, maybe even three hours before the train was to leave. And Srinath Das's house, you know, the beautiful apartment, was not far from the train station. So I was sort of suggesting, talking with Tamal Krishna Goswami, that maybe we should go to Srinath Judas's apartment and wait till it's closer to the time when the train is scheduled to depart. And from the back seat, Srila Prabhupada, who was so weak that he could hardly speak, he said, what is that? <laughs> So uh, we explained our, our reasoning, and she looked at and said, "No, go straight to the train station." So we went straight straight to the train station. You know, two two and a half hours before the departure, and we looked at the timetable, and just that day. They had changed the schedule. <laughs> and the train was leaving in 12 minutes. <laughs> so it was frantic. Some, somehow someone ran, got a wheelchair from Srila Prabhupada. You know, everyone was scrambling, taking the bags, and literally running full speed ahead uh, down the platform. And, pro and with three minutes to spare. Because it's not so easy. You know, you have to see what compartment you're in. There's a passenger list. You have to make sure that, you know, it, it's not such an easy thing to catch a train in India. And what to speak of the throngs of people that are crowding the platform. I mean, I say racing full steam ahead. It means racing full steam ahead and navigating through the, <laughs> the other people on the platform who might have got run over by, by Brahmananda <laughs> on the wheelchair. So that's what I mean by full steam ahead. And so anyway, yeah, with maybe Three minutes to spare, Prabhupada got his compartment, he was sitting down with the devotees. And Srinath Das was also running, and he got, he got there with maybe, with maybe 90 seconds left. He wasn't scheduled to travel, but he... I don't know if I suggested it or he or maybe Prabhupada even called for him to, to see him. Yeah, I think that's it. She, it was so hot. She you know, was perspiring. He, he had stopped at the Limka stand. I mean, and he, he had just ordered a cold Limka. And Prabhupada <laughs> called for him. And he rushed into the compartment and he paid his obeisance at the Srila Prabhupada's lotus feet, put his head at Srila Prabhupada's lotus feet. And no one was really allowed near his feet then. And within his heart, he surrendered to Prabhupada. His whole life, 
he had been associating with Maya Vadis, big Maya Vadis, famous Maya Vadis. Anyway, ultimately he, he accepted Srila Prabhupada as his, as his guru, offered his obeisances. It wasn't just offering his obeisances, it was surrendering his life to Srila Prabhupada. And then the train whistle blew. It was like that, you know, it's, the train starts going slowly. It was sort of hard for him to pull himself away from Srila Prabhupada, but it's like he had to. And as the train was slowly pulling out to jump off, I, some of you may have had that experience. <laughs> it's not, it's not easy the first time. <laughs> or the second, or the third. <laughs> Maybe you get used to it after a while, but it, it's, it's, you just don't know exactly what's going to happen. So he, he jumped down, and from then on, he dedicated his life to, to Srila Prabhupada's service. So I guess it's another instruction of how Srila Prabhupada's mercy continued and, and one's service to Srila Prabhupada. Um, even in Srila Prabhupada's physical absence. So, I just heard the, sounded like the conch shell. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign <laughs> that the time is up. But I'm so grateful to Srila Prabhupada for bringing us together, for giving us this beautiful life. Thank you.